Welcome colleagues, I'm Kaz, thanks for joining me. In today's video, we'll be looking at projector and projector screen technologies, but more specifically, ultra short throw, or UST, and ambient light rejection, or ALR. Ultra short throw projectors are gaining popularity because they offer a large screen experience at a much lower price point than a super sized TV or video wall. This technology allows them to be placed very close to the screen. Approximately 60 centimeters away is enough to throw a diagonal image of 120 inches. To name a few of the current models worth researching, check out the BenQ V6000 or V6050 series, the Optima Cinema X P2, or the Optima UHZ 65 UST, and the Samsung SPLS P7 or P90. Here are a few selling points for UST projectors. A huge engaging and cinematic picture, an easier retrofit installation due to ease of cabling. Unlike most other projectors, they often have HDMI arc and optical out. Much better value than a large TV, wider viewing angles than VA panel LED TVs. Much less need for light controlled rooms, we can use a suitable ALR screen and use in daylight conditions. These tend to be laser light source, so quick startup times, no bulb replacements, no image degradation over time like bulbs, and no dodgy colour shifting. Ambient light rejection screens are a must to ensure you're getting the optimum performance from your projector. As we can't project anything darker than the material we project onto, these types of screens will give much deeper blacks and thanks to the use of clever materials woven into the fabric, still provide the viewer with incredible brightness and white levels. An ALR screen designed to complement a UST projector will absorb light from below, deal with the ambient light from other angles, with a mixture of absorption and rejection, and redirect to the viewer to deliver excellent brightness and contrast. Here are some reasons not to project onto a wall. Most walls are not properly flat, meaning lumps, bumps, and textures will be highlighted. A wall's reflective characteristics are not well controlled, leading to hot spots, dull areas, and unpredictable performance at different viewing angles. Most white walls are not neutral white. They will alter the color of the image. The key benefits of a good ALR screen. Light absorption and rejection increases the quality of the viewing experience. They are very flat and display the image evenly across the surface. Brands such as Vividstorm and Screen Innovations can offer gray screens, which hugely increase perceived contrast. An important thing to note is you can get an ALR screen for a standard throw projector too, so always be certain you're specifying the correct screen for the application. If you're in doubt, just get in touch with the Richer Sound CI division. Thank you so much for watching, colleagues. I really hope you found this video helpful. See you in the next one. Bye for now.